Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from Bayes theorem. The question, it is given a binary communication channel carries data as one of two types of signals denoted by 0 and 1. So there are two types of signals. Due to the noise, a transmitted 0 is some received as 1 and a transmitted 1 is sometimes received as 0. For a given channel, assume a probability of 0 0.94 that is transmitted 0 is correctly received as 0. So this is one probability value they have given and the probability of 0 0.91 that a transmitted 1 is received as 1. Further, assume probability of 0 0.45 of transmitted a yeah, 0. If a signal is sent, determine the probability that. So they ask few subdivisions. Before that, we see from the question, the signal transmitted 0 and transmitted 1 and received 0 and received 1. So we have to take probability of these by denoting when it is transmitted 0 we take this as TO it means transmitted 0 and T1 is transmitted 1 in the same way received 0 we denote it as R0 and received 1 as R1. So after naming this, we are going to take the probability values. This naming is very important for understanding better and to proceed in a easier way. Now coming back to the question, they say for a given channel, the probability of 0 0.94 that is transmitted 0 is correctly received as 0. So we know the transmitted is 0. It means we have to write P of by transmitted 0 and correctly received as 0 is R0. And this probability is 0.94. What already we know will come in the denominator and what probability is given will come in the numerator. Then the other part, the probability of 0 0.91 transmitted is transmitted 1 is received as 1. So we know transmitted is 1. So P of we know this already and received 1 which is 0 0.91. Then further reading the question assume the probability of 0.45 of transmitted is 0. So transmitting 0 is 0 0.45. So transmitting 0 means P of T0 which is 0 0.45. It means the probability of transmitting 1 is the remaining 1 minus 0 0.45 which is 0 0.55. Because the starting we have given there are two types of signals denoted by 0 and 1. So total probability of both the signal is 1. So 1 we know already 0 0.45. So the other is 0 0.55. Now the signal is sent. So what are the things they ask is 1 is received. So we don't know what signal. If a signal is sent, determine the probability that 1 is received. So we are going to take 1 is received. So, P of receiving 1 we need to find. It means transmitted may be 0 but after transmitting 0 we are receiving 1. This is possible because they say there is a probability of 0.94 and 91 is there but there is a noise due to that 
when 0 is transmitted, it is received as 1. And 1 is transmitted, it is received as 0. So what can happen is, we transmit 0, but after transmitting 0, we are receiving 1. So this is one possibility. Or we may transmit 1 and that transmitted signal is correctly received as 1. So in these two cases, we receive the signal 1. So probability of oneness received is the question. Now we have written the expression. Let's substitute the values. P of t 0 is 0 0.45. And when t 0 that is transmitted is 0 and received oneness, we have to take from this and take 1 minus. That is, let's write here 1 minus P of transmitted is 0 but receiving as 1. So which is 1 minus transmitted 0 and receiving 0 because when 0 is transmitted there is only two chances either 0 is received or 1 is received. But already 0 received is 0 0.94 so 1 received is the remaining so that's why we take 1 minus. So we have to substitute the value here. In the same way, P of T1 is 0 0.55 and this value is already available in the question which is 0 0.91. So now we have to substitute 0 0.94 here which is 0 0.45 into 0 0.94 plus 0 0.55 into 0. Point, sorry, this is 1 minus 0. 94 plus 0 0.55 into 0 0.91. So this is 0 0.45 into 0 0.06 plus 0 0.55 into 0 0.91. This product is 0 0.027 and this product is 0 0.5005. After addition, we get 0 0.5275. Coming to the subdivision 2, they ask the probability of 1 was transmitted given that 1 was received. So, 1 is received is already given. So, what is given already should be written in the denominator. So, we received 1. As for the question, 1 was received. But we want to know what is the product that 1 was transmitted. So what they are asking will come in the numerator. So 1 is transmitted. So for this, we can write the Bayes theorem formula. It is P of T1 into P of its reciprocal R1 by T1 whole division. We have to copy these terms. P of T1 into P of R1 by T1 plus and uh, transmitted is T1 and the other option is P of T0 into P of R1 by T0. Let's substitute the values. So for P of T1, we have written the value which is 0 0.55 into R1 by T1 is here 0 0.91, 0 0.91 whole division. Once again 0 0.55 into 0 0.91 plus P of T0 is 0 0.45. So this is 0 0.45 into R1 by T0. Here R0 by T0 we have. So R1 is the remaining 0 0.06 which we have already calculated. So 0 0.06. Now the numerator 0 0.5005 whole division. And once again 0 0.5005 plus 
0.027. Now this is 0 0.5005. Whole division 0.5275. By moving 4 decimal places we get 5005. Whole division 5275. After dividing this we get the value 0 0.9. 4888. Next we have third subdivision. They have given we have to find the probability that 0 was transmitted given that 0 was received. So already given is 0 received. So we have to write P of what we know already we have to write in the denominator 0 received. And what we have to find is what is the probability that 0 was transmitted. So we have to find what is T0. Let's write the formula which is P of T0 into P of R0 by T0 whole division. We have to write this P of T0 into P of R0 by T0 plus so when we have T0 that is transmitted T0, we can transmit T1 also that is another option. So into P of after transmitting signal 1, we are receiving the signal 0. So this is the total probability in the denominator. Now let's substitute the values. Transmitting 0 as per the question, it is 0 0.45. So 0 0.45 into R0 by T0, we have R0 by T0 as 0 0.94. So, we take 0 0.94 whole division. Again, we have to copy this value 0 0.45 into 0 0.94 plus transmitting signal 1 is 0 0.55. It's probability 0 0.55 and P of R0 by T1. We have R1 by T1 is 0.91. So R0, let's write here. So P of transmitting 1 but receiving 0, which is 1 minus of this 0.09. Let's substitute this value 0.09 here into 0.09. Now in the numerator, we have 0 0.42. 3 whole division 0 0.423 plus 0 0.0495 so totally 0 0.423 whole division we have 0 0.4725 moving 4 decimal places we get 4230 whole division 47 to 5. So the final answer after division is 0 0.8952. Coming to the last subdivision, as to the question, they say if a signal is sent, determine the probability that an error occurs. So the error means due to the noise, when the signal 0 transmitted we are receiving it as 1 and when 1 is transmitted we are receiving it as 0. So this is the error. So let's find probability of error in subdivision 4 as probability of error. So the error can happen when 0 is transmitted but after transmitting 0 we are receiving 1 this is an error or when 1 is transmitted and after transmitting 1 but we are receiving 0 so these are the errors let's substitute the value of this p of t0 which is 0 0.45 p of t0 is 0 0.45 into r1 by t0 so we have T0 here and from this P of R1 by T0 
t0 is remaining 0.06 because already this is transmitting t0 receiving 0 is 0.94 so transmitting 0 and receiving 1 is the remaining 1 minus 0.94 which is 0.06 so let's substitute here 0.06 plus transmitting signal 1 the probability 0 0.55 0 0.55 into we are transmitting 1 but receiving 0 transmitting 1 receiving 0 already we have calculated 1 minus of this 0 0.09 so here it is 0 0.09 now the product is 0 0.027 plus 0 0.0495 by adding this we get 0 0.0765